you can only understand something where you understand the history of it. So I can only understand me and myself, and you can understand only yourself, when you know something about your past. Therefore, it is so terrible for a person when he or she lost memory about herself. This is then suddenly an urging problem. Who am I? Where do I come from? This is important to understand yourself. And the same is true for the brain and the same is true for cognition. If we understand how cognition and thought arose in evolution, what the conditions were, we can understand why we think how we think. This is, I think, a basic interest and this is the, ba the basic reasoning for this. What is special about the magpie brain that is different from a pigeon brain, that is different from other bird brains? What is special about the chimpanzee brain that makes it, that gives it the ability to recognize yourself, but the rhesus monkey does not have it? We do not know yet. Uh, and this is a deep question, because if indeed self-recognition is a clue to consciousness, we might get a better understanding about consciousness if we are able to understand how these differences between different animals arise. Otherwise, it is difficult to understand how small brains can be as powerful in cognitive terms as the big mammalian brains. However, bird brains do not get big. There is not a single bird or reptile that was able to come up with brains of several kilogram. There were not even ever a reptile with a brain of 100 gram. We do not know why, but it seems to be that the cortex has a couple of problems, but it has one positive aspect. It can grow and it can be really big. And we have a big brain. Without this neocortical architecture, there are some limitation to the absolute growth of the brain, without us knowing yet what these limitations are. But the basic bird brain is a reptile brain. So since more than 300 million years, reptiles and birds had the chance to come up with a big brain. They never did this. Argentosaurus, the major the largest living being ever discovered on Earth in Argentina, short while ago was discovered. A huge, huge animal. These dinosaurs have this size of brains. These are bird brains. So they are restricted in absolute size. Our cortical brains are not. They can grow big. This was the advantage that we had. Mm. Otherwise, we would be in the cages and birds would take care of us as their pets. <laughs>